Hello, and welcome to my Latin Masada unit final project, where I decided to make a model of Masada in Minecraft. Oh boy. So, um, uh, I hope you guys will forgive me for not using a script throughout this and trying to make it funny at the same time, which is not a good combination. But, uh, yeah. So, the first thing I'm going to start off with here is the Roman ramp, which, um, as you can see, has logs reinforcing it. Like they did in real life, even though it is not necessary in Minecraft. I just wanted to make it look realistic. And, uh, yeah. And this entire thing is going to be not during the siege. Because, uh, these, these people, I don't want to see them get killed. I spend a lot of time, I don't want to blow up the fortress. So, yeah. Now, a thing I could do, I could just fly over, since I'm in creative mode. But, no, 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 let's take the serpentine path, which I probably still will fly up. Because it takes a really long time to get up. And I just want to show it off. So, uh, yeah, that's a Serpentine Path. And now here we are at uh, this gateway, which takes you inside of Masada, which is a nice place because uh, it's safe from all the people below trying to kill you. Um, yeah, so the first thing you'll probably notice is uh, this big area dedicated for farming. And uh, the reason for this is because a lot of land was um, needed in Masada to grow food. Because since there were a thousand people up here, and uh, they weren't able to grow their own food anywhere else, they needed to have a lot of land dedicated to farming in this place. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, there's people farming down here and uh, getting food for the, the other people. Now, um, I'm going to show off the armory right now, which has, like, um, armor and swords and stuff for the soldiers of Masada. And, uh, yeah. Now I'm gonna hurry over and show you guys this, uh, nice housing area that I built. Which has basic lighting, people jumping through windows and beds. Nice. Now, uh, here is a swimming pool area, which was actually one of the first things built in Masada. Like, not me- well, actually- this was the first building that I actually built while making this entire project, but it's also one of the first things that was added to the real Masada. Because, um, you kind of need, like, some water place to, like, cool down in a desert. But yeah, um, now I'm gonna go over to the Western Palace, which is, like, where, like, a king would be, and here's, like, a reception- well, like, uh, lobby. Yeah, sure, why not? A lobby area where people would come to like meet the king like they'd be like oh can I see the king okay sure you can see him and then you walk in you're like hey mr. king which he's not here right now because he won't stay in his place nice and um, this place is like a small storehouse area which is in here for food for the king and yeah that's a uh, the Western Palace kind of shrunk down because this place is not nearly big enough to be an entire mountain. But I, I tried my hardest, I promise. <laughs> so, uh, now here we are in the synagogue, which is like the place of worship for Jewish people. And as you can see, there are the uh, wooden post things that um, were taken out of it to build the like uh, secondary wall thing during the Siege of Masada to withstand the hits from the battering ram. And right now I'm standing where, like, the priest guy would stand and, like, say all, like, the prayers and stuff when there are people in there. Now, um, as I walk past and, uh, see, um, th this, and people in the ground, uh, we are gonna go into the barracks. And, uh, once again, scaled down because there's not enough room for, like, a thousand people. Yeah. But yeah, barracks are where, like, the soldiers would sleep and stuff. And now I'm gonna head into the, uh, main storeroom area. Which is where most of the grain would be stored. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's what a storeroom is. Now, uh, we are entering the northern palace, which had, um, which is actually quite neat because it had, like, multiple elevations of building. And, um, yeah, like, so this is the upper area, which is kind of just, like, another king area that has a nice overhang, which you could look out over the entire desert using. And it protects you from the sun, which is another nice touch. And I'm hopping down to the lower section, which is, um, kind of like a shrine-looking thing. And, uh, yeah. So, that's 
all the stuff that I really had room to build, along with these people on the roof, I don't know. Oh, but, um, yeah, so, the thing that took the longest to build was definitely the, um, mountain itself, because it's a mountain, and I actually surprised myself that it took that long, because normally in Minecraft, whenever I'm building things like, for example, the Latin, uh, not, not the Latin, the Roman bathhouse project that I did in Minecraft, it actually took a really long time, because a thing that I do when I build is I, um, I build something, and then I'm like, this doesn't look good enough, and then I, like, change it, and then I think it's not good enough again, then I change it again, and I, I had to force myself to stop, because this is the last day I can do the project, and I did it all in one day, because I'm kind of dumb that way, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, but yeah, the mountain took the longest to build, because, I mean, it's a mountain, and the entire thing isn't to scale, because, I mean, building a mountain to scale would probably take longer than I had for this due date, and I'd rather not get a bad grade for not turning it in and spending more effort. But, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching my Coolio Masada project, and, uh, yeah. Bye.